All right, I'm sitting here with track and field great Carl Lewis. Uh, I know we were, I was talking with Sean earlier, and you know you're, you you've been competing at this meet for a while now. You're, you're from the area. What's it like being back at Penn Relays and uh, having your team, uh, you know, wearing the the red and white uh, and repping well, your team? I tell you, it's, it's what the interesting thing about it is that when I selected Houston way 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 back in, in, in the dark ages. Um, it was controversial because people say you're leaving the East Coast, you're doing it. In my first pen relays, we came back and won both relays. So to, to come back to this event, of course, I'm from the area. There's a, there's a kinship. We always have an athlete from here. We have two running today that are from this area, one from Philadelphia that's competing. So I'm just excited to be back. The kids, the kids deserve it. It's a great crowd every year. You, you know it's going to consistently have a crowd, whether, you know, it's hit or miss. But the bottom line, you're still going to get probably the biggest crowd um, one of the top 10 crowds in the world every year is going to be here, and they're going to be very enthusiastic. And so you guys are having a lot of really stiff competition. There's some of the top relays that are competing, you know, obviously South Florida, you know, in the, in the 4x1, 4x2. Uh, what is it that you're telling the team, you know, to make sure that they're focusing on their own race and being able to execute and, you know, bring home another wheel in the 4x1 uh, coming up here? Well, for us, it's been a challenge in the 4x1. We haven't had everyone healthy and together this year. It's been a big challenge. But today, um, we feel a lot better. And I think we have, we have five races left this season, which includes all the way to nationals. And so this will be the second race we're making some adjustments from yesterday. Thank goodness we had a chance to run. And I think they're going to run well today, and we look forward to running the rest of the season. But the big thing is that once this race is over, you put it behind you, you focus on the next. And then what is uh, going to be the main focus? I mean, we've seen some of, uh, we'll talk about your top guy, with Sean Maslangani right now. He's running, what, five races in, in two days. Uh, what type of prep does that take when it comes to, you know, at, at nationals, when he's going to be running multiple rounds and the 100, 200 and all of that? How's that prep? Well, what happens is that um, Sean's experienced at this, and actually this year he's run less races than any other year because it is an Olympic year. So last week he didn't run at all. The week before he ran uh, two races. And one race actually. So I, I really backed the races off and um, to make sure that they're fresh, not just for uh, conference and nationals, but the Olympics. He's already on his Olympic team. So I, I, he's on an Olympic schedule. Louis is trying to make his Olympic team. So he's on an Olympic schedule. So, so un understanding what we need to do, that's what we're planned on this year. Thank you very much, Carl. Great, thank you.